Your Excellency, my party leader, and my father, and the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, Wa Kenya Wenzangu Mambo. It's really nice to see you today. First of all, I must I must confess that uh, I did not expect such not only a huge crowd, but indeed very enthusiastic, hopeful, involved, dynamic, and therefore I am certain in my mind when I go back home, we'll certainly have picked some fresh energy that we'll go and put into our campaign back there. Unajua mimi nasikiza mambo mengi. There's a lot of debates katika inchi yetu. But some of us have stood with Raila Odinga for the longest time. And there's a, there's very important reason as to why we do that. Unajua kiongozi ambaye hana ukweli does not qualify under whatever circumstances to be in leadership. Let's begin there. Kiongozi sifa ya kwanza ya kiongozi ni lazima awe mkweli. You know? Sometimes even when it is completely hard, you must be able to be truthful. So we have followed Raila because we know, first of all, he's an honest leader. He says it as it is. When he can do something, he tells it to you. When it is hard, he also has that energy and, and the guts to say this one is not doable. And that for me is top most important character of humanity. You cannot be or you call yourself a good human and all you do is to lie. Sasa and still, still is, you know, it begins with a lie. But what I want, and I, it is important that we have this very candid conversation. Unajua, uh, when someone struggles in life, you can easily be swayed by emotions. Someone can come and tell you, and just to remind you, Vilo Mekosa Chakula. Sometimes they don't even offer to give you food, or even solution that will give you food. But they just remind you of how hungry you are so that they can play with your emotions. So we are at a situation in our country today hmm, where some of the leaders who have held very instrumental position for the last 10 years, all they do today is to remind Kenyans of how poor they are. Wanakuja hapo mkutano sema nyinyi ni maskini you know and nobody asked them probably what are the causes and if indeed we we i am i've been governor for 10 years and i want to be held accountable for what i have done you know what i have said during my leadership me a deputy president and i'm very serious about this one you cannot be a deputy president. That you sit in all the cabinet meetings. A deputy president that chairs one important component of government that is called the IBEC agrees on budgetary provisions going forward for our country for 10 years. That you could have done all that, even an iota of your, your pledges today, you could have done them while in office, but you did nothing. nothing. Leo, you come back and tell us, hmm? you're going to sort out our economic so situations. First of all, you know, he thinks that people are fools. But me, I, I, I want to tell him, 
kama kuna full dunia hii ni yeye and uh, we have to say that it is we have to say that it is somebody sit kwa jukwa unajua mimi si umi maneno kama kuna full hii dunia ni nani yeye somebody sits na mimi na unajua diaspora here this is what we call credible voices back home because you live in real world you see real situations you understand governance you see how countries are developed some of them they think kukarling some narrative some silly narrative an economic model you know unakaa jua jukwa tu sema this is our model i am sure watu wote wale wamekaa kwa hiyo they don't even know how to develop an economic model you know mimi i know why raila hana haja kufanya fujo because there's a lot of policy issues at, as it were today that needs to be fixed it's never just about money don't fool us and come and tell us nikichaguliwa nitawapatia mabilioni utatoa wapi there are basic policy issues that must be fixed and will sort out a lot of our problems sivyo create an environment that is conducive for kenyans living in diaspora to come and invest back home create opportunities that are progressive for our young people you know support innovation Sivyo, but you can't come and say tutaleta mabilioni mimi have calculated i una junet nataka nimalize lakini give me a minute junet we sat and calculated tukasema huyu jamaa tumemsikia leo ameweka promise 100 billion the other day 20 billion so promise 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 we calculated promises zake zimefika trillion na trillion no. promises and then we go back and ask ourselves this guy me i worked with him before in parliament in the 10th parliament junet has worked with him all of us have worked with him and i'm, I'm particularly interested to find out ni lini huyu mtu aliweka promise na akakamilisha i cannot remember of any kama kuna mtu anakumbuka hapa aseme But now this is the difference. Raila Odinga promised us new constitutional order. Did we get it? Did we not get it? He promised us devolution. Tulipata hatukupata. And many other things. So I'm telling you Raila Odinga is a man of his word. Na tena yeye anasemanga kama ni mbaya mbaya. Kama ni noma noma. Kama ni mbaya mbaya. Kama ni noma noma. So I ask of you I ask of you please get involved. Don't wait here. Eh? Mwache ndugu zetu wengine ambao wanabebwa na hisia kali hazina mpango wabebwa hivyo hivyo. We need to hold leaders accountable. First of all before William Bruto tells us anything. He needs to account for the 10 years that he's been in office as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Tumekubaliana. Tumekubaliana. So please get involved, make calls. Uh, debate with our people. You know me I I I, I told and I, as I wind up Junet I know you are getting agitated. As I wind up, I wind up. Unajua I want to agree with Peter Kenneth. I want to agree with Peter Kenneth. The most the most uh, what is it? The mountain here. Some of you are here. I am going to tell you something. Sisi me I come from the coastal region. Tulikuwa na ugonjwa mmoja mbaya sana. That is why it has taken so long for us as a region even kusimamisha mtu tuseme huyu anaweza kuwa rais. Even though I believe in the future mimi niko lakini sasa hiyo Mambo ya zamani. And you know why? You know why? Ronald Ngala 
Mheshimiwa Maria